All right, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a tool that uh, wasn't designed for this specific application, but it makes life so much easier when you're trying to change wheel studs. Um, in my case, I have, as you can see here, a Brembo brake setup that actually wasn't on this car from the factory, so the issue I'm having is uh, finding wheels that clear that caliper. I found a really nice set of wheels. Uh, they're made by Enki, and uh, they don't clear by about five millimeters. And uh, the way I tested that was I took some washers, put them on the hub, and then I kind of spaced them out far enough until I found out the clearance I needed. So anyway, I have to run a spacer, a hub-centric spacer, um, on the rotor side of, uh, you know, behind the wheel. And in doing so, I can't get enough lug depth to mount this. So I'm only getting like f three full turns of rotation on here. So one, two, three. That's how many threads it's taking, which isn't very safe. So anyway, I'm, I was trying to find a way that I could take the studs out of this wheel bearing because I'm going to go with five millimeter spacers and I'm going to get some studs that are just a little longer and um, you know instead of hammering on it or doing other things I was like there's got to be an, a tool that I could either find that's specifically made for this use or maybe I can find something that's sort of like what I need and use it so anyway I found this OEM tool it's a tie rod end remover 27276 comes in this nice little box and I picked it up at AutoZone they usually loan them out uh, OTC makes a similar version I think it's on Amazon for like 40 something bucks this is their version it's probably even made by the same company so it looks like this it's got the little cutout on the bottom so as you can imagine it's nice and flat I'm gonna stick this underneath here move this all the way up and uh, of course this stud is a little too long so you have to you have to pull this off or if you can't pull it off just back this all the way off till it forces itself off so down to the uh, actually doing it if you yep, if you see I'm just gonna back this up and kind of tighten it, center it on there. And then maybe you can see on the video how it's sitting. You got a nice amount of clearance down there. And then that's centered on top of the stud. So it's a 19 millimeter nut. I got a socket on there with an electric impact. And just go ahead and take this. That's it. Couldn't be easier. Go ahead and pop that out, rotate it, go ahead and pull this back, put this back on here, center it, and do the next one. That's it. Brand new wheel hub, I can now put some extended length studs on here and uh, there's a separate tool for that once I get that in I'm gonna make another video but yeah with the new ones all you do is put them in the hub and then there's a tool on here you tighten the nut and it pulls it back up through so anyway uh, maybe this gives you a better idea of how to disassemble these the proper way uh, even though it's not the right tool for this job uh, specifically anyway it's actually the safest way to go about it unless you have a press in your garage or something to that effect uh, because these are pressed in from the factory they're not hammered out I wouldn't take a hammer to it because as you hit this you're hammering against that flange really really hard to pound those out and guess what it's doing behind here you have a bearing race and you have like ball bearings or roller bearings whatever they're using for this application and all you're doing is you're hitting those inside and you're creating play inside that bearing 
I would not do that. So press them out, and then if you can pull them back in, that's the safest way to go about it. All right, hope this helps somebody.